Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your HI Media TV news update. I'm your host and just updating the Trump assassination attempt from yesterday. Uh, we have more information we, 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 given 12 hours late, so we know now. Uh, Thomas Matthew Crux is the name of the shooter. Um, uh, pull, I'm pulling from multiple sources, but we're using the BBC's article by Tom MacArthur, Tom Bateman, and Bernard Dubsman as the uh, as like kind of just a, a congregation of, of, of a lot of the information. Uh, the FBI has confirmed this is who it is. Uh, he was a 20-year-old kitchen worker. He was shot dead at the scene by a, a, a Secret Service sniper. We knew they were killed at the scene. He was, he was not carrying ID. Uh, so investors used DNA to identify him. He was from Bethel Park, PA, about 43 miles from the site. Uh, he graduated in 2022 from Bethel Park High School with a $500 prize for math science and science, according to a local newspaper. He worked at a local nursing home kitchen, just a short drive away from his home. State photo records show he was a registered Republican, according to U.S. media. He also was reported to have donated uh, $15 to, act, to a liberal campaign group via Act Blue in 2021. This is when he would have been 17 years old. According to U.S. media reports, he was wearing a t-shirt, like wearing the a merch t-shirt from Demolition Ranch, a right-wing gun channel. Before anybody in the comments saying, Demoli Demolition, they are. I've looked at their fucking Twitter. They, like, I, 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 I see where the fuck, I've looked at their Twitter to check to see if they were like, if, if they were like most gun channels in regards to like being like, like, right wing right wing or like vaguely hiding the fact that they're right wing or the fact that they, they're like some like liberal anarchist kind of group no, no they're the, they're the right wing type they're, they're the right wing type they they suckle elon not musk's knob so that's an that's a huge indicator um the channel has millions of subscribers blah 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 uh, law enforcement officials believe that, that the weapon used to shoot donald trump was purchased by crook's father six months prior Speaking on the condition of anonymity, two officers told the AP that Brooks' father bought a weapon at least six months ago. Uh, the day after the shooting, law enforcement sources told CBS, the BBC's U.S. partner, that suspicious device found in Brooks' vehicle. Um, we there, there has not been an identified motive. Um, it's we don't have any idea yet, so. Uh, what like why he was um i am going to take a crack at this if you don't mind his motivation because that's kind of like the big thing um he was obviously he was a registered republican he liked right-wing online content um and yet he tried to assassinate donald trump now uh right-wing lunatics are going to obviously uh use the fact that he when he was a 17 year old kid he uh, donated 15 bucks act blue and used that as the smoking as the smoking gun for uh, him being a left wing socialist Marxist blah blah insert insert right wing fear response buzzword here. Um, this is and this is my take on where what probably happened. Um, he was he was probably one of the disillusioned Bernie Bros in, in the wake of 2016. Um, when the DNC um, basically forced, uh, basically the DNC used their like their internal mechanisms essentially in their super delegates to basically make it so Bernie lost, even though he won most of the convention. Um, and he's one of those disillusioned Bernie crats. And what then ha what a lot happened to these guys is that you know you might have some like me who like were relatively principled things like that we have things to say and then you have others you know like uh who, who and this guy definitely has the phrenology of that um ugly motherfucker who essentially uh get like realize like shit uh i'm not going to be able to like escape this wage slavery nobody wants to fuck me i'm not going to get my government mandated wife from this and in, like in Sally type behavior let me see what Trump is going to do and, and swapped over. Um, when 
the I think that the fifteen dollar donation, which happened on Biden's inauguration, but mind you, was a symbolic gesture of defiance against the moderate Democrats. There were plenty of people in the left wing sphere that were losing their shit over this, and you know, it's it's. I think that's ultimately what it was. From there, um, I think a, a lot of the former Bernie Krats kind of they they went. The, the, the dissolution Bernie Kratz, like with like incelly tendencies, went in different directions. Some went the direction of Caleb Maupin and the uh, uh, CPI, you know, his fucking sex cult. Um, some people went in in the direction of just being a straight up botnik in in in, thir in, in campus. Uh, a lot went towards the sort of uh, libertarian y. Uh, 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 bad government bad um sort of uh, uh really remove yourself from the equation kind of types and that in that kind of seems where uh T thomas matthew crooks went uh the, these that that way is very well known for being very hospitable to new people um and kind of reinforcing pre-existing beliefs without actually like saying exactly what they should believe it's all very vague and it was a very good way for you know the these you know nominally left-wing you know as teenagers you know uh and then just kind of wanting any kind of change and also hating the fact that like you know people they are unattractive and unfuckable um they went towards uh that um i think ultimately uh while well, obviously, like, there, there is a large, there is a, I'm not gonna say large, but a vocal contingent of the right wing that is that kind of libertarian, like, militant libertarian -y type that does also hate Trump, specifically for the things he did around bump stocks. Um, and, you know, and to their credit, they're not completely fucking stupid. They also recognize that, um, the, uh, but not the, the the project 2020 stuff that's going to be happening is going to lead to is not is they might love the idea of the executive branch getting dismantled, but there the, there is plenty of things in that that are still in their mind authoritarian. So these are our 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 reactionaries from the right of Trump, and you know similar to how Lee Harvey Oswald originally wanted to kill a, uh, you know, a Southern Senator for the in, in political action guy because of his constant rhetoric and talk and, 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 his, and his opposition to McCarthyism. And when he and ultimately ended up killing Kennedy instead, Kennedy, by the way, being someone more politically aligned with Lee Harvey Oswald's self-supposed, you know, left-wing Marxist views. At that point, it wasn't about, um, at, at, at that point, it wasn't about um, politics, it was about attention. And I think that also might have a, a place here. I think that if Thomas Matthew Crooks wanted to take a shot at a presidential candidate based around his politics, I think, I think Do Donald Trump is a solid option in, in, in terms of, you know, if, if my theory here is correct, I, this is a theory I'm kind of synthesizing from a couple of other commentators as well. Um, I think Biden would have been the better test case in that regard. Trump might have just, but I think Trump just was an easier mark just because of how open things were. Like, yes, the Secret Service was, you know, protecting him, but let's be fucking for real. There's a difference between Secret Service protecting a, a former president and the actual president, but I digress. Um, I think ultimately, uh, but let's, but now that we kind of like have an idea of like, you know, uh, like, let, let's just restate the facts. Uh, TMC was, uh, a, was a registered Republican. He consumed a lot of uh, right-wing online content to the point where he purchased and wore merchandise of, of which to go attempt a, uh, an assassination. Um, I don't think that the act blue donation especially given the um, sheer amount of radicalization that has happened to so many people like the difference between in, in radicalization between 2021 and 2024 
you know, in ages past would be unheard of, but it, it, it it's completely valid. I've seen people that I know that have gone from that have gone from being moderate conservatives to full fucking Nazis, and I've seen people who have been gone from being you know moderate Democrats to wanting to fucking have a socialist revolution. So I think ultimately, uh, I think people are downplaying the sheer amount of radicalization that is that can happen to somebody over uh, that, ha and that has happened to people over the last three year, three and a half years. And uh, I and I think the actions of TMC today is more representative of his of what his politics are and who he was compared to one fifteen dollar donation made by a seventeen year old kid back then i don't i think that i think the bernie disillusioned bernie crat to libertarian whack job li, li, libertarian whack job pipeline like it like it, it, it it's it, i think it, it's feasible and in an unknown phenomenon um but the thing is ultimately it's i think ultimately the right wing is so going to perpetuate that he was like a left-wing marxist socialist anarchist blah 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 like just every buzzword that gets you know 50 plus year old fox viewers shaking at their goddamn boots so i think ultimately uh we're going like, even if he didn't have that act blue donation i think what eventually would have i think what ultimately was going to happen uh was they're going to paint him as uh, a left-wing radical that tried to assassinate Trump because ultimately they want to do they want to do the retaliatory killings they want to retaliate they want to attack left-wing uh, 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 Congress people they want to firebomb um, gay people's houses like ultimately the re the reactionary like lunatics on the right want to do heinous shit to people to their political opponents and. So they and they and they can and, and they need and for them to have their perceived moral high ground to do so, they can't be the ones to lob the first shot. So they will do everything in, the, in their power to have this person who is ostensibly closer to them than they are to someone like me, um, as you know, paint them as someone like me, so they have an excuse to start killing us. And I think that is uh, like they're going to do that anyway. Like they, 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 like even if there wasn't an act of motivation, they would have just lied and done it anyways. Because that's what the right wing does. They lie whenever they want certain things to go their way. So, uh, be careful. Um, if you are in, if you are a left of, if you are a left of center, um, buy firearms. Um, you know, it's it's. The, there you don't you do the only reason you as a left wing individual need a firearm it's not for home defense it's not even for self defense it is it is just in case right wing lunatic starts start start fog marching down the street and you and your neighbors need to be able to splay their gray matter out on the street and defend your communities like it is community defense that is if, and if you and if you are not comfortable doing that start trying to save up some money and seek asylum in a different fucking country because shit, shit is going to get weird soon. Um, no matter where you go, still get your absentee ballots. Still remember to vote this November. Um, at the end of the day, voting is the least effective form of civil engagement. The, the, the positives of voting are non-existent, but the consequences of not voting uh, are uh, we are living with to this day. Three Supreme Court justices, cough, cough, cough. So, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I just, God, the next, the, like, this election season is going to be fucked. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there, we'd love to have you, and... Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg. 
all of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.